Okay, welcome. It's this is the Jenkins documentation, or this is Jenkins User Experience Special Interest Group. We've got attending today Uli Hoffner, Felix, Tim Jacome. Felix, I apologize. I regularly misspell your last name, so I, I omitted it for now. I'll put it in later when I get it correct. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, oh, good. And we've got Patty McClatchy, it looks like. So proposed agenda was colors in Jenkins with Uli. Um, and then I had recent UI improvements in core. Uh, if we're lucky, John Farachuk will join us and then we'll we'll let him talk to it instead and pending UI improvements. So, or Tim, if you'd like to talk to those topics, are there other topics you'd like to put on the agenda before we start working through the agenda? Okay, great. Then let's, then let's go ahead. And so Uli, uh, is there anything you want to share or is this more of a discussion topic that you'd like? It's more of a kind of discussion topic. So I think the only things we can share are the links that I put uh, on the agenda. So I, I think the background is um, basically the, uh, this pull request where I should make it in review. And this remembered me that I had in my plugins a, a similar problem. That means we have some colors and we need these colors in the server side on the Java side. And we have the UI side where we have a lot of colors as well. And I wondered how we can get these colors in sync. So that we have the same colors on the JavaScript side and the same colors on the server side. This is one thing. And the other thing is that we, uh, that these colors should not be fixed in the way because we have a dark theme and I, uh, 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 yeah. what is the difference of the, a light theme. And these colors should be look different on both themes. So I, I, I'm wondering how we can in the future discuss these things a little bit more that we have colors that look good for both kind of themes. So this is basically the topic uh, I wanted to discuss a little bit. So I think it's quite easy on the uh, on the client side we can use you know these um, new variables uh, in CSS. But I'm not sure how we can use these colors in charts as well, and how we can use these colors in server side. So this is more yeah, a question. Uh, I'm not sure how to say. <laughs> if someone has an idea how we can put it all together that it works both on the client and on the server side. Maybe I'm not sure. I would sure say if... avoid it as much as we can. but. Get, there are some things that are generated server side, um, yeah. but is moving to client side a better fix in general? Yeah, which is but kind of what we've been kind of what we've been doing. So, so Tim, to to be clear on that, so your idea is to avoid color definition on the server side as much as possible. Yeah, the, the other way is another way is to pass it from the client side to the server side. <laughs> which was a suggestion by Daniel Beck for fixing some of the theming issues. Mm -hmm. So pa pass the resolved value for the colors somehow down to the server as query parameters or, or something. Okay. But. So are there cases where, where that technique is infeasible or would not work? Are there places where we'd say, hey, can't do that? I'm mm -hmm. sure all of it could be moved to the client side. It's just a matter of time. And also that some of these graphs are bundled in core and core doesn't have things like e-charts at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some of the graphs then would need to be split from core either split from core or bundle each charts in core. Mm -hmm. OK. 
Okay. And um, whether it's a probably bundled in a self-contained way just for those pages and not as a library for everyone, I would assume. And one thing for the charts, uh, if we're using e-charts in the client side, uh, uh, several parts of such a chart is still produced in the server side and the Java model side in, in, in Java. So currently I am using e-charts, but some values of the model are still produced on the server side. For instance, I'm for the code coverage view, I'm rendering the percentage of the yeah, code coverage in green, different green levels. And this is currently done on the server side because, yeah, and I'm not sure if this makes sense to put everything on the client side because then we need to create these models on the client side as well. So, yeah. Which means that we need to write a lot of more JavaScripting code. And yeah, which is, yeah, it's not, com yeah, it's a kind of different way to create new views in Jenkins. I'm not sure if we're going to walk this way. I have a maybe a silly question, but is it seen as a bad thing? in Jenkins to move it to the client side and use JavaScript? Yeah, I, I don't think that is a bad thing. So the, the problem is, I think most of our developers are Java developers. Yeah. And the tooling for Java is uh, always um, more major with respect to testing, code coverage, et cetera, on the Java side and not on the JavaScripting side. Mm -hmm. So this is why everybody's using Java and not JavaScript, which is, uh, let's say, some kind of evil language for me. Uh, <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> So is there a is there a how do we how do we approach that or prototype it? Is it is code coverage the example we could use to test drive that, or is there another place where we could test these ideas about moving more and more client side more and more color definition to client side? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I think we have uh, these references below. Uh, there are all links which are yeah somewhat. Uh, relevant so for instance we have in, in the two unit plugin um, th this is a, a trend chart a little bit lower where we have uh, where i changed the color from blue to green and this is currently on the server side but this could be easily on the uh, client side and uh, this, this is not really a problem but um <laughs> I think the problem is a little bit bigger because typically if you have, you have colorblind problems, so somebody does not see a difference between red and green. So we need to make these colors changeable in a way. So I think rendering on the client side is just one point and the other point is how do we provide a way to customize these colors. And maybe one step further, uh, which colors should we use at all? <laughs> so we need a kind of semantic model of colors, which we don't have yet. So we started with a color palette, but a color palette does not make sense in my way where we use it. So we have colors with semantics, with failed state, with successful, or with a, a coverage of 50% or 70%. And this is not handled by our color palette. So our color palette is a kind of a generic thing when you're working with Excel or something like that, that you want to a nice chart, but not a chart with semantics in it. Felix, you have a question? Yeah, I mean, I was just going to be 
I'm asking to be a bit pragmatic. Um, imagine we don't live to, to live the Java world. And we just say that maybe color specific look and feel for themes is not that important for charts and, and stuff. Uh, maybe the, the short term solution, and uh, maybe it's acceptable long term could be to just say, okay, we have a specific and endorsed set, the finest constants in Jenkins core for light versions of graphs, and then another set of colors for dark versions. And then we start with that. And then uh, see how that solves. Um, it will not work for all light themes, and it will not work for all dark themes, but should be work for the, at least the two defaults. And I think, uh, and I think that would be viable. Maybe that uh, plugins could reach out to those. I don't know. I'm just throwing an idea out there. Mm -hmm. Choosing the colors. I don't. I, I. I don't have an opinion on that. We and the semant and about the semantics. We do have. Uh, we, we do have a success on, uh, on colors with semantics. It may not be the most color blind. Uh, it will not result in the most color blind fr friendly chart, though. I have nothing else to contribute to this discussion. <laughs> okay. So, so it feels like there's more to be discussed there. I, I, I think we may have hit the point where we need Uli and others to have conversations, possibly Patty and others, about hey, how would we approach this further. Uh, Felix, I know you had to drop off at half past and I wanted to be sure we got to, to Jan's topic. Uli, are you okay if we pause this discussion for now? Yeah, that's fine. I just want to make us aware of the problem and we need to yeah, continuously improve that one. Mm -hmm. Fine. Thank you. Uh, thanks. So, so I assume that the, that what Tim mentioned of Daniel's suggestions. There's a conversation going on out in a public forum somewhere about the possibilities here, and we can continue in that location. Yes, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's helpful I start up a thread on the community. Then we can link each other in there. That sounds like a great idea. Excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So the next topic that we put on the agenda was recent UI improvements. And John, maybe, I don't know if you want to share a screen or if you want to just talk about it or, or how you'd like to approach it. Uh, maybe you could give us some highlights, what your, what your, what your vision is and how it's, how it's evolving, et cetera. Sure. Um, hi, everyone. Um, kind of first time here, so just kind of bearings. Um, Happy to share my screen if that's all right. Uh, all right. Oh, uh, can everyone see my desktop? Yes, thank you. Sweet. Um, so what I've done at the moment, I've made a kind of vertical slice of everything I've been working on with Jenkins. So every kind of test branch I've made, I've kind of chucked into one massive branch. Um, so it's got all the changes I'm kind of eventually going to propose and the ones that I have proposed already. Um, so it's it's not finished and it's it's definitely going to be a little bit buggy. Um, but but this this is it really. So you've got the table there. Um, you've got a kind of new kind of format of buttons um, which I pulled out of the forms merge request. Um, just so I can have one merge request focused on updating the buttons and hopefully killing off the, the U, U, UI uh, buttons as much as possible. Um, so done a fair bit of work there, kind of killing off the, the make button JavaScript stuff, because that was really kind of gnarly. Um, and also done a fair bit of work just trying to kind of separate the, the bits that we can't kind of pull out just yet, if that makes sense. Um, so if I go to manage UI, um, there's, there's bits like the uh, say administ administrative monitors uh, button, where if you click it, that, that's still reliant on you who you are, um, but everyday buttons have been detached fully. Um, 
so I guess I should start from the, the beginning, really, anyway. Um, this is the table, for those that haven't seen it. Um, it's kind of built from the scratch, um, well, from the ground up, really. Um, it's a little bit more modern than the, the old table. Um, let me just minimize that. Um, one of the things that it, it, it does kind of do is use kind of new icons. Um, so I mentioned these are ion icons. Um, so it's a new kind of slim icon for Jenkins. Um, that's that, the buttons are there. We've got new tabs, um, but they don't really look like tabs. They're kind of more of a switcher kind of format. So let's see how that kind of plays out. Um, and if we go to the new forms, um, this branch has kind of the, the newer forms changes that haven't been pushed. Uh, sorry, put your hand up. Felix? Yeah, so about the icons, quick question. Um, did you weight the size of the library? And did you intend of replacing the material icons fully? Um, that would be the plan, yeah, to replace them um, eventually. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's not, I don't think material icons are too crazily used on Jenkins from what I've seen. Um, so it shouldn't be a massive job, I don't think. Um, no, uh, we are using very little material icons. Sadly, we cannot remove them. Uh, remove them. Uh, for context, the icons we did was were at first, and then I re and then uh, Google pulled the rug under us and removed the oh. material sprites. Uh, so that's an issue. Uh, but I mean, it should be well rather easy to locate uh, where, which planets are using the material icons and update mm. them. And it's so in not case many. More... <laughs> no, don't think so. And now, well, I mean, we can just leave them for compatibility, but I I do support just having a comprehensive set of icons. Uh, I was reluctant to, uh, to work with bootstrap icons because the, I, the, they were so, it was huge. The icon font it was huge. And Jenkins already has like a, what, four megabyte, five megabyte front asset payload. Uh, mm -hmm. if, the, if the iconic font weights, and our 600k on top of it, it may not be that good. But yes, if the size is reasonable, I think it's great. I just wanted to comment that on the icons. Sure. Um, I'm not too sure how large the icon set is right now. Um, I'll need to check that. Um, but right now, the way it works is uh, we have a tag to load the SVG, and then that gets cached um, in just like a uh, hash map on Jenkins. OK. And just so we're constantly not loading the file. Okay, I I, I will dig it up. Uh, I will look in, uh, deeper into the PR um, mm -hmm. uh, and to see how the how you serve this to see if I can see and and yeah, I, I will look in the tables PR a bit more. Sure. Um. So this is the kind of continuation of the forms um, PR. So we've got pretty. Well, about ninety percent of the forms elements um, kind of changed over now. So the text area is done. Um, the select box is done. Um, the check boxes was it the check boxes that needs to, yeah check boxes are are also done now. So they kind of animate like so. Um, some selects are, are custom, um, so I can't touch those annoyingly. Um, uh -huh. Did you end up looking into what I suggested about looking into the uh, setting input class, modifying that one directly? Uh, I haven't. No, I need to look into that. Yeah, yeah. I would just suggest look into that. Maybe expand it with the CSS variables because that mm -hmm. was used everywhere. Um, I just, just was I suggesting, even on mm -hmm. legacy stuff, it's used. Except on the change password <laughs> fields, <laughs> it's the only thing I I've seen that it doesn't use that that one. Yeah. Um, um, so and one other thing. Uh, oh. So uh, the changes I see in the buttons were those done by theming purely. Uh, yeah, these are just. Uh, but they're, they're new buttons. Sorry, new buttons. Yeah. Okay, but um, I mean, you, you uh, those are the existing Yahoo UI classes, but with the just the CSS variables changed. There'll be new classes. Um, so all I've done is just done a command F just to go over the old buttons. Um, 
then I was thinking of having like a JavaScript, um, a small JavaScript file just to change over any uh, existing buttons on page load. Okay, uh, I, I, I would suggest you verify that with the, for example, with drop downs, because mm -hmm. that can mess up with Yahoo UI stuff in, in drop downs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it should all be. Just a suggestion, though. Mm -hmm. um, there, there was a drop down on this page that I've been playing with. I just lost it. Uh, here we go. So, yeah, so the drop downs down. still work. Yeah, it's for example there. It's missing the the arrow, for example. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be valuable. Uh, yeah, I completely agree. Um, I I can ask a question. I'm going a bit of topic, sorry, because I I need to leave in like seven minutes. Um. Mm -hmm. Once on, uh, when we work on this, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware. Uh, G two, uh, like two years ago, we work. I started working on for a year or so in this. I and what I think it really helped was I created a document uh, mm -hmm. to strategize it, to outline what steps we were going to take and what stuff. And then, well, we did have a designer to this sort of discuss the designs. We tried to, to we just share them. And we try to avoid lots of design by committee stuff. But what I would suggest it could help if you could put together a document or something uh, outlining uh, outlining uh, your vision, like what steps you're mm -hmm. going to make, uh, to something more comprehensive to see, just so that everybody can see a roadmap in mind. And maybe just if people just can pick up contributions for that roadmap. Um, because that would make it easier for everybody, I think. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and also, especially we did share, I think, poorly. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and admit that we did it poorly, but we did try to share design resources. So and from what I've seen here, I, I mean, you must have design resources. These look very uh, design specs. Like, these, these look so consistent and so good. That the image, do you have design docs for this? Uh, no, no design docs yet. Um, okay, but are I'd you, love to are create some. Are you freestyling this whole thing? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that's amazing. Huge respect. Uh, well, but then just, just a bit of a strategy document outlining your vision. Mm -hmm. And basically, what we did was where we wanted to work with the plan and where we wanted to stop. Uh, certainly, I wanted to stop after iconography overhaul. I needed to stop after because the tables to leave things. But mm -hmm. at least, yes. So if you could put together a roadmap, uh, yeah. it would be great. Uh, at least that's what I think. What does everybody? So what do you all think? So I'm I'm less concerned about the strategy than I am about the rapid progress. So. For me, I apologize, no, Felix, yeah. for being the other direction. But in my case, yeah, I mean, I'm so impressed with the progress that I I would love to keep advancing the progress without without at least short term concern for strategy. No, no, I mean with I don't mean a roadmap. I mean just a, I don't mean a strategy document. I'm just saying about that point, like going with forms, going with that, and then with the plugin manager table, and that's it. Or just I mean, are you going to stop in? iconography on that? Are you going to work on the navigation? Are you going to, do you plan or do you plan? Or if not, I mean, if you think that's too much, yeah, I mean, sure. If you're just freestyling the whole thing, uh, it's fine by me. I will continue to review and approve, of course, and try it out. It's going to, I'm going to get back to Jenkins uh, looking at this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, for me, code talks and I would just focus on the code. <laughs> um, yeah. Especially if you don't have a team behind you. Um, if you've got a team to help, then some of that's better, but yeah, I think we're, I think we're, I think we're doing fine. I think it's yeah. looking really, it's looking really, really good. To, to be honest, I did, I, wish... I, did, I did assume there was a team behind this because it looks so consistent. Uh, it, it looks consistent, so I thought it was a, there was a team behind it. I may very well, I, I may give it a shot to the plugin manager table. Maybe, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, reach out if there's anything that you need a hand on. Um, so happy to help out in this sort of area. I'm terrible at design, but I can implement and fix things and understand Jenkins fairly well. Yeah, that, and that's I, really appreciated. I can, I can do. Yeah, I, I just can work in large case stuff. But if you just, if you just have any, find any JavaScript weirdness, 
I encountered quite a few. Um, if you just just say, okay, I just create a small tickets for a small adjustments, I will be happy to take to take mm -hmm. a few. And one um, thing that would, would really benefit um, is there like a kind of place I can post any questions um, to like a, a group or something. Um, posted it in the chat. There's a there's a Gitter channel which is like a poor man Slack. <laughs> Well, and, there's and also there's if, also ma there's also a mailing list if you want that too, but for just for questions, the chat is normally fine. Yeah, if 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 Gitter is not rich enough for you, we could put ourselves onto the CDF Slack. We could put you know there are other places if that will if that will help you get the answers you need, Jan. Sure, oh, that'd be great. Yeah, I mean we were on Slack before, but then it's just harder with invites and there's, you can't just link people to messages so easily. Right. Get it, should, get it should be fine. You can just sign in with GitHub. Mm -hmm. We still have the community we started to use as well. Yeah, as right. There's community also, of Jenkins. I'm... There's a forum here as well. Um, okay, I forgot to drop. Uh, so uh, uh, nice meeting you, uh, Jang. This is amazing. You're doing. Uh, I, 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 looking at your work really makes me wonder what I have done, what, why I didn't do this. <laughs> it, it looks really good. Uh, so congratulations. Um, Thank you. So yeah, cheers everybody, bye. Yes. So Jan, you, you, oh, go ahead, Patty, was that you? Sorry, I was, yeah, I was just gonna say, I also have to drop, but um, Jan, I would love to help you with some of the accessibility color issues. Mm -hmm. um so uh because i think we might have a contrast issue on the buttons it looks really good um mm -hmm. but i'd love to help you with that i do have to drop that i uh we could collaborate on gitter or um i can i know felix posted your pr um so i can also help look at that and suggest a, a hex color code that might uh be a little better for contrast sure that'd be great thank you awesome Okay, bye, y'all. Thanks. Bye. -bye. Now, now, Jen, you mentioned. I think I, I'm not. I am the least UI skilled of everybody in this call. So forgive me if this is a foolish question. But you mentioned why UI. Is that the Yahoo UI thing that we've been dreaming of getting rid of? And it sounds like you've actually successfully, for button creation, stopped using it. Um, for, for the majority of buttons, yeah. Um, there's still the plugins. Which I can't do much about, sadly, and um, that use it um, unless we kind of make our own kind of drop in version, if that makes sense, um, and then kill off the UI completely. Yeah. Um, I feel but, like plugins won't, won't be using it too much outside of core components. The main one I know of is the credentials plugin, which really needs a, re really needs a UI rewrite. Um, well, and, and certainly in order to remove YUI references from credentials, we would have to have to rework it, right? So it, it just the way you said it, Tim, it will require rework. And therefore, whatever technique you're using, Jan, seems like we could we could consider that in other places as well. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, yeah everyone is very happy to purge Yahoo UI. <laughs> it's ancient and out of date and... Yeah. But I don't think we can update it with heart breakages, and that's it's just so old. And yeah, right. So, same with prototype JS is horrid. I'm sure <laughs> you've came across prototype JS. Yeah. But it's just, yeah, it's yeah. just broken. Just I, I tend to just rewrite <laughs> stuff in JavaScript. I don't I don't add the new I don't add new prototype. I just rewrite it if I have to do mm -hmm. anything. Um, so now now Jen, so one of the questions for me was that some of your work is already in the next like in the likely next LTS baseline. Mm -hmm. So 2.317 already includes uh, a number of your improvements. And for me, that means we have a shameless request that we need to be sure we test that thing very well and focus on UI. Those of us around can help by looking at UI and looking for things. Is there a particular way you'd prefer to get issue reports is it okay if i just use the jenkins issue tracker or would is there something better for you and jenkins issue tracker is great 
Ready? Okay. All right. So, so as as people find things, they should just report them to issues.jenkins.io and mm -hmm. excellent. Okay. That'd be awesome. Um, kind of one last thing that I've, I've kind of been playing around with um, is trying to overhaul the the tool tips. Um, so right now across Jenkins, uh, there's kind of different variations of making tooltips. Um, so just trying to consolidate that under uh, tippy.js. Um, this is what it looks like. It looks kind of almost identical to how it did before. Um, so the users shouldn't notice a difference, but as for developers, it's a lot easier to, to actually create tooltips. Um, so hover over kind of the weather icon, you'll get the table. Um, and one thing I've been looking at extending it to is the, the drop downs as well, and to try and pull us away further from the Yahoo you UI stuff. Um, so that like, kind of works. Oh like my that. God. <laughs> <laughs> so much. <laughs> That that <laughs> looks beautiful. Could you could you do that again, please, Jan? Please hover over that. <laughs> the, the, those of us who endure this particular menu want to see that one more time. Okay, so that that is a thing of beauty you've done there. Have you done the breadcrumbs at the dashboard at the top? It's maybe not the most obvious, but it's not not that one yeah. to the left to the left of that. That one there should be oh, consistent. Cool, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one's a, that. Yeah, that's a Yahoo UI one. That would be great to purge. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much everything um, I've got on the go right now. Um, but I'd, I'd definitely like to keep uh, people more up to date as to what I'm doing rather than just like chucking large merge requests out in the open. Um, so I need to find a way of kind of communicating better there. Um, but yeah, that's that's just, that's it really. To post the stuff in the UX sig like when you want input or feedback. Uh, for mm -hmm. bigger posts, there is a UX sig like mailing list as well which you can either use the UX SIG mailing list or the regular Jenkins mailing list if you want to get bigger feedback. But generally, we just use the UX SIG chat. Um, but yeah, that looks really good. Thank you. Uh, I'll stop sharing if that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. So I'm going to switch back to sharing my screen because I was in a costume thing today and I'm I'm looking horrible therefore let's do whoops well, you've which, been in an accident <laughs> exactly I'm, I'm, I, meant to, I meant to ask i was i was supreme leader snoke in my costume but that it, this is only a part of it so let's where did it stop the share which screen did i just share let's try sharing again share screen this one go okay now you should see this all right are there other topics we should discuss today so it feels like we've got uh, a really cool demo from Jan. Thank you very much. And we we could consider going back to the conversation on colors in Jenkins. Uli, if you would like to spend some time, some further time on that topic. No, just it's okay. I just to make us aware that we should discuss it in more detail. And I think I'll start a mailing list thread where we can, yeah, get a, a little bit more feedback from everybody. Great. All right. Excellent. Any other topics then? Not from me. So Jan, I and one of the reasons I was asking about this two three seventeen and two three eighteen is I've I've got a bug report I'll be submitting. I just need to get enough information to to justify a good bug report. So. We have, mm -hmm. I think I think the one I've seen is enough that we'll probably want it backported to for the LTS baseline, but the the purpose of the bug report is to test whether or not it's actually that relevant to others. Thanks again so much for what you've done. This is this is brilliant brilliant work and really energizing. Thank you thank you. Any other topics yeah. for today? Oh. All right, then let's, I think we can go ahead and call an end. I will archive the, I'll save the meeting notes and upload a copy of the recording to the Jenkins YouTube channel so that it'll be available so that other people can see the work that's been going on. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, all.